Hey guys, welcome again to the one coin only arcade challenge. This is a place where we attempt to play every single old school retro game in existence up until 1999. And today we've got Bubble Bobble 2. Now, you guys have seen me do Bubble Bobble 1 and Rainbow Islands before, which was technically Bubble Bobble 2, but I think Tato realised that Rainbow Islands was nothing like Bubble Bobble, so they brought out a standalone Bubble Bobble 2. And here it is, we're going to try it out, one coin only, and see how far we can get off this playthrough. Now, I've literally only played this once before, and I'm kicking myself because it's every bit as cute and charming as the original game. Maybe by the 90s, people were just kind of over this single screen uh, platforming challenge. I mean, it may have been a dated concept, albeit a timeless one now. We can, like, go back to Bubble Bobble now and just play it over and over and over. Um, but the 90s, as far as gaming goes, was a... a a big time for innovation and um, whether it's graphically or gameplay wise and my point being is the fact that you know I don't know about every single game in existence but the fact that I didn't hear about this when I was growing up may just tell me that it was just lost in the shuffle and um, it's a real shame because it's every bit as fun if not more fun than the original game you still got your jump button you still got your attack button where you throw out bubbles and you pop your enemies um, and basically it's a remix. Um, you've got a lot of the original uh, levels from Bubble Bobble 1 included in this. Um, then you have all these fresh ones too that you haven't seen before. Um, you might have seen it at the end of a couple levels. Um, there was a door you could choose to take. Um, that's Every time you play it's replayable because each secret door will take you on a tangent into a different direction. Um, all part of the map, whatever it is. So, um... You know, every, every time you pick a different direction, you'll constantly see, constantly see a new bunch of levels and things to do. Um, so you can change your adventure to your liking every time you play, and I think that's really, really clever. I don't know what happened there, but I don't want to lose too many lives too soon. I think I'm better in the original than this one. Some of the enemies are different too. I mean, a lot of them are cute and familiar, but... They've added all these other ones, which I need to be careful with because I've never faced them before, so I don't know the tactic for beating them. And then uh, the the power ups you can get are pretty much the same. Um, you can get those letter bubbles if you collect all the letters, um, you'll gain an extra life. I'm assuming you'll be able to warp and then time travel through levels and whatever too. Um, so yeah, I mean. Uh, rather than an outright sequel, it's probably uh, Bubble Bobble 1.5, I guess you could call it. Oh, damn. It's a sudden death now, guys. We've only got the one life left. It's no no harder or um, more challenging than the original Bubble, Bubble Bobble. It eases you into it. I think the game's very, very fair. I'm just genuinely sucking this playthrough, unfortunately. <laughs> oh... There we go. Collect that fruit, it's good for you, keeps you away from the doctor. Let me go to this other section here. Oh, how the hell am I supposed to go in there and destroy everything? That, that scene. Oh, okay, these tornado. Th I can't remember, I think in the other Bubble Bobble game you could um, hit lightning bubbles, then it shoot lightning across to all the enemies, but I don't remember these tornado things before. And just like the other bubble bobble, if you take too much time, the dreaded hurry up, as you've seen before, will come up on the screen. Um, if you don't finish the level by the time that comes up, you're going to have a bad time, because some invincible enemy is going to come after you that you can't kill and basically own your ass. This level is incredibly frustrating, I'm sorry guys. It's really stressing me out. I just still haven't worked out how these tornadoes work. Yeah, here we go, here's old mate ready to come and own me. Oh, here we go. It took longer than what I would have liked, but what matters is that we got through it. Oh good, I'm glad this level isn't the same. Looks like there's boss fights too, that's pretty unique. Um, I don't think I got far enough in the original Bubble Bobble to witness if there was boss fights or not, as embarrassing as that is, but 
it's nice to see you getting the thick of things pretty early in this literation. Um, okay, so bubbles don't hurt it, so you're gonna obviously have to pop these tornado things on. Okay, here we go. It's not really doing anything special to attack me. You just gotta make sure you don't touch him by mistake, I'm guessing. Okay, now he's coming after me and it's all over. Damn. Oh, guys, well, that was Bubble Bobble 2. That's actually a really, really fun game. Every bit as fun as the sequel. If you've missed this growing up, you have to play this game. And uh, thanks again for joining us, guys. Please subscribe, comment anything you like below, and please tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time.